This is what I hope to be the start of a series of videos showing how I am attempting to build a steam locomotive from scratch. The plan is to build the Ellie the Tram from the book available from Camden Miniature Steam Services. This book has a step-by-step -step write up of the process with accompanying photographs and all the drawings necessary to build the loco. As stated in the title of this video, I do not have any engineering experience. So this will be a steep learning curve and a challenging project for me. There are two versions of this loco that you can build. I will be building the jack shaft version, seen here in this photo. This design is a development of the original version pictured on the front of the book. The difference being that the wheels are driven via a jack shaft rather than a set of gears. The book recommends starting with the coupling rods so they can be used as a template for drilling the holes for the axles into the chassis. These next few clips will show the process of marking the position of the holes and drilling them out using a pillar drill. To aid with marking the profile of the rods out, I had made this tool out of an M8 bolt. I cut off the head of the bolt and turned the end down to 3mm. The plan was to use this to draw round, using the 3mm piece to centre the bolt round the hole. Having done that, I then use the ruler to mark on the main part of the rod. It was now time to use the angle grinder with a thick grinding disc in to roughly grind out the shape of the rod. I left around 1mm of metal over the lines, which would then be filed down. Now it was cut out, I first had to deburr the rod, 
as the grinder had left a lot of rough edges. It was now time to put the rod in the vise and file the last bit of the excess metal down to the lines. After a lot of filing, here is the finished result. Not perfect, but I'm happy with it. Whilst they're not perfect, I did check to see if the holes lined up properly. This was the critical bit to get right, as if they didn't, the loco wouldn't run. As this photo shows, the holes do align correctly. I tested this with two M3 bolts. This will be the end of the first episode. I will now go off and make the jack shaft rods and then in the next episode we'll cover the next stage of the process. Thank you for watching.